Kabuli Palav, Africa, uh, Afghanistanian, Af- Afghan, no, Afghan rice, Afghan rice, Afghanistan is can, Af- my English not, is not good today. So what I'm going to start with is two finely chopped uh, onions that I am going to uh, fry. And I had some five deciliters of basmati rice that I've been soaking for more than two hours. So you're supposed to fry the rice, no, the onion in three fourths of a deciliter of oil. That's a lot of oil. But of course there are two onions. So I did this in advance. So now I'm going to rinse the rice. Rinse the rice. When the oil is hot, you add the onion. The onion is going to get caramelized, which is, yeah, really fried. So we are slowly getting there. So in, and in the meantime, when this is going on, I rinsed the rice. And I also put together this little package. It's one a bouillon cube, half a teaspoon of it's uh, cumin, half a teaspoon of cardamom, and half, no, half a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and also seven deciliters of water. And uh, this is soonish. And now, as the so onion is turning brown, I guess it could turn browner, but who's got the time? I'm adding seven deciliters of water. I also add uh, five deciliters of basmati rice that I let soak for more than two hours and then rinsed thoroughly. And spices, I told you before, didn't I? Yes, I did. In it goes. Oh, in it didn't go. As the rice is coming to boil and then afterwards it's gonna simmer for about 15 minutes. We are gonna do something funny. We are gonna prepare two carrots thinly sliced and sort of these are going to be deep fried along with raisins yes this will be very exciting and the best way to turn these uh, into ribbons is using one of these and some people in some countries don't not know what it is this is a cheese you sort of you do like that on ch- hard cheese and you get these slivers and slices it's great but it's good for other stuff as well look at that it's really thin really like ribbons and of course we're going to fry it but we're going to fry it in that so we have to wait until the rice is ready and sort of chuck it somewhere and then start using it so people this is the way the rice is going to look so as you can see there are some topping and those those are deep fried raisins and deep fried carrots. But that's not all you want to have over it, or sprinkle over it. Two te- teaspoons of, uh, not salt, but sugar. One tablespoon of chopped up pistachio nuts and one tablespoon of slivers of almond, almond slivers. You said that? Yes, that's what you say. I'm so hungry. Okay, people, the rice is done, but instead of just letting it sit there for a while, sort of after boiling, I'm going to put it in this, because Papa needs the pan. Now, people, I know the rice is, the dish isn't really ready, but I'm going to taste the rice. Have I forgotten the salt? It's kind of bland. I mean... There should be something. I mean, I'm going to try again. It's like all those spices just disappeared. And it's... I I have learned on the internet the best way to see if the... Uh, oil is hot enough is to put down a no well yes when it starts it's getting there you see so say yes let's oh my god I can't I think I've got too much no maybe not oh just go for it mother brother and the raisins as well. <laughs> and um, 
I'm going to do a Meryl Streep impression now. Now I read the recipe. Now you read the recipe? Thank you. I'll be here all week. What movie? Do you know what movie? Meryl Streep movie? One of my faves? Anyway, I sort of just poured the, the carrots and the raisins together and then I read the recipe. Start with the carrots. So, um, yeah. so this takes like forever. But look at the raisins. They are puffed up like they look like unshelled peanuts. Or the peanuts, you know, with a shell, the darker skin on still. So I'm going for crispy here because uh, otherwise why, why deep fry it? Oh, and earlier today I made these. These are just sort of potatoes. Well, what? there's nothing special about them really. It's the ordinary sort of like meatballs, but they're like in this shape instead. And there's um, sort of soy meat and uh, potatoes and garlic and onion and chili flakes and turmeric. Ginger, I think that's it, oh, and cumin. So, I haven't tried them yet though. That's my biggest problem, I just cook, I never taste it. Done. So I've just decided that I've decided that they are done. I'm gonna put them here, let them soak. All that oil, disgusting. Okay, people, here we go. Large spoon of the rice. Don't think I will appreciate the rice. And um, some. Oh, oh God. Oh. And then sprinkle some. <laughs> it's really weird. Pistachio, almond, and sugar on top. So I'd say bon appetit, but I doubt it. Okay, people, here we go. Oh, God. I don't know where to start. With those slivers? Deep fried carrots. Well, it's kind of sweet. Oh, yes, because I have sugar on. So, the rice. Needs salt. God, it needs salt. Oh, God. And now the thing. Mmm, thank God that tastes good. And I didn't show you how I made it. But the rice and the... Mm. I want to make a retraction. Once I sort of put salt on it and started eating, it was quite good. So, try it. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.